It's the heaven in my woman lies that makes life hell a better place to be. It's the heaven in my woman's eyes that gives the inspiration that I need. Sometimes it seems a man is born to lose no matter how hard he tries. Life on earth would sure to hell without the heaven in my woman's eyes. So, Mr. Furlip seems to have taken a objection or maybe even a offense to my video. And then he asked me why didn't I address his assertions and his questions. Kind of thought that was obvious. The reason I don't bother doing that most of the time is because why the bloody hell should I? The information out there is so readily available that anybody with a computer and an internet access to Google Scholar can spend a few hours and learn every single thing they could possibly want to know about the morphological changes that natural selection and phenotypically expressed mutations work on and the evolution of the wing which of course there's a hell of a lot of different types of wings out there. Uh, insects wings, bird wings, uh, mammalian wings such as bats. All freely available. Thousands and thousands of scientific papers out there published in refereed, peer-reviewed science journals. Freely available to anyone and everyone who wants it, who has an internet connection. Why in the hell should I spend my time, my effort, to educate somebody else over and over and over again? Thousands of men, again and again, and I'm so tired of it. To wit, or for wit, wherefore, and therefore, I have a link down here just below my crotch where I have a document that I've uploaded to my uh, web server uh, desertfile.org that has links to a hell of a lot of science journal papers regarding morphological evolution which has resulted in a beneficial mutation for reproductive success of the species where it has been observed to happen. Also, the evolution of the avian wings, plural, not the wing singular, uh, ring species, fish morphological evolution that benefits in uh, mutations that have been beneficial to the fish that the mutations have occurred in, and a hell of a lot of other links, all down there in that single document. Anybody who wants to spend... 40, 50 hours reading those papers and they will have the gist of anything and everything they wanted to know about how evolution works, how natural selection works, how mutations sometimes produces reproductively successful, more fit uh, organisms for a particular environment at a particular time. Need I add any more? Does anybody out there need personally to be educated on these subjects because they're just so goddamn lazy that they can't do it themselves? I say no. Which is why I didn't bother doing so in my previous video to Furlit. <sighs> this won't stop the other people out there from demanding my time, my effort, and other people's time and effort to stop what they're doing and educate the lazy bastards out there who insist, well, if you don't take the time and effort to educate me, therefore evolution has not happened and evolutionary theory is wrong. Dull fucking shit. Uh, not to say that Furlip falls into that category. Uh, he uses the same phrases and actual words that creationists use, but he may not be a creationist. It doesn't matter. 
Link! Down. There. I don't mean down there, I mean down there.